In this video, we're going to help new beginners who are converting their 2D logo that could have been designed on Pixelab, Canva, Photopea, Adobe, wherever you could have designed your 2D logo. And now you want to convert it to a 3D logo using Photopea. This is the lesson for you. So the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do, so we're going to do it step by step, is when you're using Photopea, Try using Photopea on browser and not on the app. We've found that since I've been using it on browser, I'm not having issues. But if I'm using it on an app, I get errors. The PSD file doesn't want to upload. It doesn't want to convert. So the app for me at the moment is not converting the way that I want it to. So that's the first thing that I want you to do is use a browser. So when you land on Photopea, you have an option of uploading a PSD file that you would have downloaded from external websites like freepeak.com and blast.com. There's a lot of websites that you could be using and you're downloading from. So this functionality, they open from computer. It's when you're using an external PSD file. Most of the time, if you're doing this for just one time, and you just want to convert your own business's 3D logo, I would suggest that you use a PSD template, but you're more than welcome to go find one that speaks to you on the external um, website. So if you then opt to use the templates that PhotoP and the other um, creators have uploaded, then you're going to select PSD templates, and then it loads. Then because you're wanting to convert a logo, you're going to select mockups and you're going to get different kinds of logos for mockups, cups, clothing, business cards, etc. So you then browse through and you find the one that speaks to you and you like, and then you double click on it, or you could select where it says paper logo mockup. So usually I would double click on it and then it automatically loads. But sometimes when you double click on it, so it depends on how the file was created by the creator. Sometimes the file takes a while to load because of the size of the file. But sometimes it's quick like you saw with this one. So what you are then focusing on is this section here, the layers section. Because this is where you would like to place your own logo that you've designed from, from Pixelab or Canva, you want to convert it to an image that looks like this. So they give you how your logo is going to end up looking like. So you are then going to move to the layer side and you're going to look for the words that says your logo here or place your design here or add your logo here. So it would guide you based on what the designer or the creator of the PSD mock-up road for you as a guidance to place your logo. So based on how the designer or the creator of this PSD mock-up did it, sometimes you'd get a lot of files on the mock-up. And the more files there are, the longer the mock-up takes to upload and change and tweak. So even to load the file, if it has a lot of files that the creator has done, it takes a little bit of time to load. So that's why sometimes it takes long to load and sometimes it doesn't. The other reason it could take long, it is your Wi-Fi could be slow. And um, so check things like that. The other reason, your cookies on your browser, you haven't cleaned up your cookies on your browser for a while, and sometimes that's why it doesn't load. So if you're using a phone, most of the time, the phone is full with videos and pictures and it takes time to load because that affects it as well. So once you are comfortable and you're happy and you've cleaned up everything and you've landed on your template, then you're going to go to this checkered box and you're going to double click on here where it says your logo here. And then it opens up an area where you could then place your own logo. That's why when you get to this page, it guides you to show you this is where you place your 2D logo that you would have converted as a transparent file because you can immediately see that 
even the example that they are giving us here is a transparent background. If you haven't converted it to transparent, then it's going to convert it with a background that you did not remove. So before you come to photo P and add the 2D file, you need to have converted to a transparent background. You can use Canva, you can use erase.bg or remove.bg to have a transparent 2D logo. And then that's why we've seen the example. Now we're going to hide the example by clicking on the eye so that we can now place our own design as a 2D so that it can convert it for us, the software. Then you have two options here. You can either go and find your design by clicking on file, open and place. You are then saying to the software, place my design. And then you go find your transparent background wherever you've saved it and you click on it and you say open and then the design is placed for you on the canvas. So that is one way. The other way, I'm going to delete this. The other way, if your computer saves or downloads at the bottom of the page like mine, all you do, you click and you drag and you paste it there and then it's added. And once it's added, PhotoP likes you to say correct by selecting correct, but it's not necessary. But if you're gonna be using PhotoP as a tool, I would suggest that you get used to ticking correct. The next thing is the file is a photo that was converted to a 2D transparent background. For photo P to convert it to a 3D, it wants you to change the picture that you've added to a, an object that is smart. It's called a smart object. So you need to convert it to a smart object. Two ways you could do this. You could either go file, save a smart object, and it tells you that you could either also press Command S using a, a Mac. If you're using a Windows, then it's Control S, or you could either click it there. And then you wait, it will tell you smart object updated. That means the software is ready for you to convert this picture of yours to a 3D. If you don't see smart object, when you go file and you don't see the option smart object or it's grayed out, it means you've skipped a step. It means you either haven't placed a logo on um, the template, there, there's a step that you would have missed and I'm going to add the steps on the description below so that you have them and you don't struggle. Just go back to the steps and see what you've missed because it must always give you save a smart object if you followed the steps correctly. Once you're done, you then go back to the first tab, which was the PSD template that was loaded initially and you click on it once, and then the mock-up would be converted to a 3D logo. So if you still get errors in a way that we did not cover in this video, photo, maybe it's a photo P error or uh, some sort of an error that is a technical software error and not a design error, they report a bug and a learn functionality that you could use. So if you click on report a bug, for example, you get to view all of the issues that all the users have logged and how PhotoP has responded to them. So there's 71 open issues and there's 4,900 that have been closed. And you can go through, you could search and until you find your own issue and see if it gets resolved that way. The other way that you could help yourself is if you click on learn, there are tutorials that PhotoP has put on together and sometimes it's very helpful to answer questions that you might have on PhotoP. And you can click on there and then help yourself with the tool. If you're still struggling, I did create a video that has five either ways that you could solve any issue that you might have with converting a 3D logo. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial. I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh